Hey guys, welcome back to another Ride the Track Map video brought to you by the Moto X Collective. I'm TFC and this is Round 7 Minneapolis. We start things off with a fairly short start straight into a 180, straight into a double triple rhythm, and then we're 180 again into the longest rhythm lane on the track. Now the choices are pretty obvious down this one. And around the back side we've got a double or a triple and we're into whoops that appear to end in a small dragon's back. So we're back onto the start straight briefly but hooking off 180 left into the finish line stretch where we've got a little double and the finish line double. So another 180 we have the second whoop section with the only supercross triple on the track and we are back across the start straight again and probably the most interesting section here a small rhythm section with quite a few options which are completely buggered up and that ends up going over the start straight again and into some on offs which link right back up to where we started now I made a few mistakes there but you'll see some of the more interesting lines in action if you keep watching and the surfaces are slightly different, the scaling is smaller, and the track, although pretty tricky, rides pretty nice. So what did you guys all think of Anaheim 3? And the 250s were brutal, with two of my favourite riders out. The 450s were so boring, that smart fight money moment of the race was literally the whole shot. And that being the most exciting part really says a lot. Still, it was cool to see my prediction about the rhythm in the sand becoming rollers, so that's one for me. And also, a uh, shout out to Ian Washington, who predicted the big line being a quad over the on-off table at the end of the rhythm, and K-Series J, who was right about it being a quad. It was also cool to see this being one of the big lines on the 250s as well. So this week, I'm riding the HRC Factory 22 replica CRF450, made by Fab MX1, and this is my go-to CRF skim. I'm also wearing my favourite gear when riding this bike, which is the Fox Flex Air Royal 2019, made by Julian391. All four colourways of this gear are pretty sick, and look great on most bikes. So great job guys, I'll put the links in the description, and you guys can go show them some appreciation. So I don't think there's really much to talk about on this track, other than the fact that it's in a football stadium, which is a nice change of pace. Uh, like I said last week, I feel like the East is really where it kicks off properly. We're in a good chunk into the season, and the tracks always feel more raceable in a lot of ways. And also, I am 100% ready for East Coast 250s. So let us know down in the comments who your picks are for the 250 East Championship. And one other thing, I think it's important to point out that riding these tracks really helps if you limit your fuel to about 2 litres and you select a little bit of a longer gearing and you should be good to go. So that's it for now, enjoy Minneapolis. <laughs> 